All right, guys. Monkey Boo is going to meet Trixie. She's a very friendly skunk. Kelly's got her. Oh, look. Hey. Oh, Boo said, hey. Boo, I've never petted this skunk before. And Pete, if you want to hold her, I can put her down closer, too. Yeah, she's very, very friendly. She's very snuggly. Boo, she likes to snuggle like you. Look, yeah. She'll just snuggle right in. Just like that. Look, look. <laughs> you want to go see Kelly? And I'll hold the skunk. Go ahead. Hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hi, buddy. Boo was worried about you. She was, she was wrangling cobras. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for worrying about me. That was very sweet. Just like that, Boo, for a girl, you traded me off for a skunk, <laughs> huh? He knows a monkey lover when he sees one. Yeah. You take some of them home with you? I've, I've, I've taken some of the skunks home, and I used to bring, actually, uh, years ago, one of the servals I, I raised. So he would he would come home with me. So, Boo, she gets to take animals home and snuggle with them and stuff. That's pretty neat, huh? That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Boo, you like meeting new animals. So right. what's, is the cobra the craziest animal he's now ever met, you think? Or what's the craziest yeah, animal? Yeah, that's definitely, I, I, I can't think of anything close. I don't know, the tigers and stuff are pretty, but, yeah. you know, like, that was, that was pretty intense. What did you say the biggest mistake when people think they want an exotic pet, whether it's a monkey, a skunk, like, what's the, I don't want to tell people that it's impossible to do because, like, I don't want to be a hypocrite because I've done it. Sure. And now I have three monkeys and I'm doing right. it very successfully. But, you know, like with three monkeys, I have, I mean, you know, I'm lucky. A lot of people love Boo and it, you know, it provides extra help for the monkeys. Um, mm -hmm. I could do it with all three of them alone, but it makes it a lot, a lot easier to have the help. And, you know, what I tell people, with the, especially with the capuchins, it is more commitment than marriage. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and they're not just... An animal, I mean, it, especially with the, the primates, even more so than other exotic animals, you're not just a pet owner, you're, you're a dad. I mean, right. it's a 24 seven job, right. literally. I mean, it's, it's all the time. It's your, and it's their entire life. They there never was, grow up. There was a short time where it was just me and Boo and I was still at my other job before we were doing this stuff. And I would literally stay, I had to work to about three every day. And I would stay awake till four or five in the morning mm -hmm. and sleep for an hour, hour and a half, just so Boo and keep Boo awake so he would sleep while I was gone. Right. Because other than that, and that was a short time. That's the only time he's ever been left alone. Right. You know, at this point, they're never, my monkeys are never left alone. There's always somebody with them. Right. At all times. Yeah. Yeah. I, got, I mean, and even animals like skunks. I mean, we do tell people if they're looking for something besides a dog or a cat, they're willing to put in the time. A skunk can make a great pet, but it, it's still the same. You can't throw them in a cage and just not handle them. They will bite if they feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, they're nocturnal, so they'll wreck your house at night if you don't give them something to play with. They're very social. They can be litter box trained, but you have to know all these things. They can live 10 years or more in captivity, um, but you have to give them the right diet. I mean, every animal comes along with something. The pythons are another big one. That's why we encourage people to buy a ball python versus, well, now Burmese in, in Florida are actually illegal to own as a private pet, but people buying their children Burmese pythons and not knowing they're going to get 15 feet long. Yeah. And then yeah. they just dump them in a their backyard. A lot of the exotics, I'm really learned, starting to learn a lot more, but mm -hmm. with the monkeys, I can speak on it. Yeah. Don't get a monkey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. You just, like, I've seen monkeys cause divorces. Just, I'm guessing probably 75, 80% of people who buy monkeys don't make it past three years. Mm -mm. You know, there's a, there's a lot of sanctuaries around. Or they end up being, you know, neglected, abused, um, hoarded kept in the wrong way yeah. and then 20 years later we end up with amos's group that i'm sure she told you about that yeah. were handled the wrong you way. know like these animals these monkeys out here have it great um some of the sanctuaries are better than others obviously but like you know anybody that criticizes what i do with boo and I mean, we make people happy with our videos and boo's 10 years old now imagine boo anywhere else mm -hmm. i can't like this yeah. is like boo has, this is boo's calling <laughs> oh, absolutely. And, then, and we we are best friends. And right, people ask us that you know they assume we are against animals being owned as private pets, and we're not. It, it's we've learned that you you can't stop people from owning them, but you can simply educate them on what to do. Yeah. And a large majority, I'd say ninety five to ninety eight percent of people, will never be the exception like right. you are. 
Um, there's very few people out there that understand the reality of what it is like. Right. So all we can do is try and educate you know, what it is. And yeah. a lot of people have come to us and say, I want to buy a monkey as a pet, but I'd like to learn more. And after even one conversation, they go, okay, I've changed my mind. Yeah. After I know what it's, what it's, what it's really like. And that's the best we can ask for. And if somebody is ready to put in the time, all we can do is try and teach them. Yeah. Some people are going to do it regardless. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is, this is how it is. And it don't always end up good. Yeah. But people are still going to breed them and still sell them. And if they, you know, if they can go, you know, home with, with people like you and, and live lives like you, then that's better than anything. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I know a lot of people who have capuchins that have great lives. Mm -hmm. Now, I know a lot of people who have some really sweet, nice capuchins that are extremely jealous of Boo. They've told me, like, wow, Boo's. I hung out with somebody who's around capuchins all the time last night for a couple of hours, and Boo was just sitting there with me. He's like, man, he's just, like, so chill. He's just, mm -hmm. like, one of the guys. He just hangs out. And I was like, this is years and years of doing this. This is what we Well, do. I mean, I wish some of our guys could, could be like him, but when we've got 200 animals and we have animals yeah. that have come from the history as they come from, yeah. It'd be great to have every single one of our capuchins be yeah. able to be like the, Boo. A really big misconception with the monkeys, a lot of people reach out to me and say, hey, uh, do you know somebody that has a monkey they're wanting to give up for adoption? Nobody that I know that has a monkey that's two or three years old, especially if they're starting to have problems, is going to send that monkey to somebody that has no monkey experience. And no. If you have no monkey experience, a two-year-old or a three-year-old monkey will ruin your life mm -hmm. no, and you'll ruin you. theirs yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, you can't do that no. if you're going to do it you have to start from a baby I mean that's just how it is uh, I, I have a rehome that a female Mila she's really sweet she's the sweetest boo but I've been around her boo has spent time with her so I knew that I, we right. knew each other before and like you said he's a big help too oh yeah you know, having yeah. another yeah actually when I, I when I drove up to pick her up just me and boo went instead of I didn't take my little one happy I took Boo and I let them ride beside each other in the cages in the back and they lip smacked and talked and, and <laughs> Boo Boo made her, that just to ride back because she's, she's transitioned so well into our family. She does really good. So I've held a skunk now, Boo. Thanks for picking me over Trixie. That makes me feel good, buddy. Because <laughs> everybody always picks Trixie over me. Now she probably does shows with you guys. Yeah, yeah, she's gonna go to the out to Coco with me today. Oh, you're and everybody to, loves her. Who's been to Coco? So you should go. Oh, you should go by Ron Johns. Like we we shut Ron. I took Boo, Happy, and we had our uh, squirrel monkey friend with us, and we shut into Ron. the big surf shop. Yeah, we oh, should. Gosh. We, oh, we shut that place down <laughs> for a while. <laughs> That's how we are when we take Amos to dinner. If we do, we take him down to like Mellow Mushroom Pizza Place or one of the sports bars. All right, Mister Boo, you gonna come get back on Daddy's shoulder? That's a good boy. All right, Trixie, you want to go back? No, Mama. I'm not, yeah, I'm, not, I'm weird about, I don't know how to pick. Yeah. <laughs> she's a little pile of pudding. They have little short stubby legs. So she's just basically she's all so fat. Sweet. She's so sweet. Once you look at her, I say, thank you guys for watching. Oh. <laughs>